Okay, so tonight is date night. I have a date. And she was supposed to pick me up at 6. 6 turned into 7. And she just text, didn't call me to tell me that um, she's going to be just a little bit later. Um, said that she would, she had to take her sister some food. <laughs> and that she would be um, here after that, whatever time that is. In the meantime, I am dressed, I am ready. I am actually just adding some finishing touches. Um, my accessories, my belt, my um, my shoes, my lip glass, all of the necessities that I need. I'm actually doing them now. So I'm a little agitated. I can tell you that. My thing is, what happened to the dates where? Um, Everybody knew their place. I should be ready and waiting. And she should be on time. What happened to the dates where someone can afford to take you out somewhere nice? I can afford to take myself out somewhere nice. So I'm trying to understand why is it that I have a grown ass stud that wants to talk to me. Who really can't afford to do anything. And I'm again, I would have never went on this date if I would have known what I know today. You know, you don't meet people through people because, yeah, yeah, you get gypped just a little bit. I, on the other hand, am a little agitated. I mean, the longer I wait, the more I do, the more I look to do. And again, we went from 6 to 7. It is officially 7.13. And I know that doesn't sound like, you know much she's 13 minutes late but she's been planning this date with me for I want to say a week now for six o'clock tonight and it's already 7 13 because she had to go get her sister something to eat hmm. maybe it's the older crowd because the older crowd feel like they don't have to impress anyone well I need to be impressed because you need to be able to do something for me that I can't do for myself Hmm. I'm just going to be okay with it. I'm going to go out on a date. I'm going to attempt to enjoy my time. I know from previous conversations that I really don't think it's going anywhere. So, here's the thing. I, I wanted to make note. Um... I'm going to say this about my femme ladies. I noticed that you don't keep your studs or better half on point with themselves. And, and I'm going to say that it's a backlash on other women. I know everybody said they don't want to be trained. But the way that I see it is anytime you start a new job, they train you. I don't care if you have seven degrees. You're going to tr be trained for that position. And I, I take that the same way when you're dating someone, this is your new position and you need to be trained for it. So I do happen to like the open doors. Um, I do happen to like, um, you know, me going before you, things like that. And I noticed that so many women let their studs or ex studs get away with it, that these studs don't know how to handle a real woman. They think it's okay that you know they let the door shut on women they think it's okay for them not to open doors they think it's okay to have their black behind or whatever color sitting in the passenger seat of the car and allow your femme girlfriends to get out and go pump the gas and pay for it and get back in i'm not pumping no gas i'm i'm not you, you want me to be girly you want me cute and we smell good all the time and yet you still want me to pump gas yeah no I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it you have so many wannabe stems films and they end up being stems because they allow the studs to put them in a certain type of situation that 
they're now stuck in if they want to stay in the relationship. Or better yet, y'all break up at some point and now she's trying to be with me, but she can't get it right because you never told her that it wasn't polite. You, you never told her that she can't say shut up to you. So, yeah, that, that's a big thing for me. And I refuse to change that. I'm not doing, I won't do, I'm, I'm just not. No. Um, it's 15 minutes after. Yeah. I'm waiting on somebody. But yet it's 20 minutes after. I am waiting on somebody. I, I don't... I don't do this very well. Anyway, I'm going to digress for a moment. Let me put my shoes on and I'll show you a date outfit and see what you think. Bye for now.